what's his experience been like? I know you're not, you're not doing a ton of stuff on the field, but what's this been like being, being in the uniform for the first time and getting used to these first two days? Yeah, I mean, it, like you said, it hasn't been much, but uh, it's been a, a great experience for me. You know, I haven't been able to do much, but the workout I have or I have been doing, you know, been great for me. Um, and, you know, just putting the, the threads on, it, it's um, starting to sink in a little bit finally. So, um, you know, good work, and I'm really excited, you know, to get going. Have you been itching to get out there? Have for sure. Guys yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I love playing and, and being out there, but not – you know, competing and not being hurt, you know, just kind of not doing the competitive stuff. It definitely is hard for me to watch being, you know, the way I am. But, uh, you know, it's also good for me to watch and, you know, get a different point of view and understand the game from a different, you know, point of view, like I said. Yeah, um, people talking about your, your body control and the things yeah. you're able to do out in the field. Uh, are those things natural to you, the kind of acrobatic catches in the air, or, or is that something you, you, you've been able to work on through your career? Um, just... just being able to adjust like that in the air. Yeah, um, you know, I've kind of always been told that I was really athletic, you know, I always growing up. So, um, you know, my mom and dad both both played their sports and respectively did their own athletic things, and, you know, I, I owed a lot to them. And, um, you know, basketball also, I feel like, translates really well to, to football, so I feel like that may have something to do with it as well. Where did your parents play? So my dad played, um, played at Davidson basketball and then played basketball in the league for a little bit with the Nuggets and um, the Bullets. And then uh, my mom, she said she played football with all the, you know, running around with all the dudes, and she said play football growing up. And um, she didn't play in college or anything, but, you know, she was athletic <laughs> in her own right. So, um, yeah. So you get your athletic ability from your mom? The, basically, yeah. Yeah. What about basketball do you think helped you kind of develop some of that body control? Is, is it, you, know, I know you were a point guard, right? Yeah, point guard, two guard, yeah. So, so what about maybe is it the finishing at the rim or yeah just like the constant the constant um you know jumping and and getting up and down the floor it's just all it's it's so unpredictable it's not planned out you know you kind of are reacting um a lot of the time in basketball you know it's not like running a route where you know where you're going to break and um you know I feel like that's that's really good for you and then you know just competing year round you know playing playing sports since a young kid I feel like you know it only helps you so um yeah, like like I said, it translates really well. You know, a lot of times you you see people that you know track the ball well, and they they have a basketball background, and you know you've been taught to come and meet the ball since you were second, you know, first grade. You know, so um, just things like that. Were you close to ever going somewhere for basketball, football? Um, I had offers before I before actually football and basketball, but um, I wouldn't say you know I never really thought about committing at that age I was so young and then by the time you know I did have both offers I didn't um, think I was going to be playing basketball anymore I kind of fell in love with, with football at that point and, you know just growing up in Austin it's it's um it's just a little different the basketball and, and football you know the outlook on them so um, yeah that you know that all might have had something to do with it for sure. what was that like for you Garrett I mean Ohio is football crazy too but yeah. Texas is a little bit of a different animal than everywhere what was that like when you moved to Texas and just to see what, what football was like there? Yeah, I mean, it was different. You know, I got to watch my brothers go through the um, the high school system in, in Ohio, in Columbus. And, um, you know, the football games had a good turnout. The basketball games had a good turnout. But, um, you know, the whole city shut down when I got down to Lake Travis on a Friday. And it was just totally different, you know, the support behind the team and um, the athletes. You know, it's really good to, to grow up there and be an athlete, you know, really no matter which sport you're playing. Um yeah, so, I mean, it was just new to me. It was, it was awesome, though. I mean, it was being an athlete, you know, it's everything you wanted to see. Was Baker the quarterback in the high school? When he you was. Got there? Yeah, he was. Uh, it was Baker, running back named Var- Varshawn Nixon. It was really good. Um, yeah, I mean, they had they had some great teams back then, for sure. Very good. How was it like going uh, back to Ohio State, like, was that your plan all along that you wanted to go there, or it was kind of an interesting path Columbus yeah. to Texas and back to Columbus? Um, no, it wasn't. It wasn't my plan, but, um, you know, going through the recruiting process and getting in front of Coach Meyer and Coach Day, um, my family as well, you know, it was it, and it was just it was meant to be. And um, it didn't take long into the recruiting process to realize that, but I, I can't say I knew it, you know, the whole way. So... And we spoke to you like, I think last week or whatever. You hadn't spoken to Zach Wilson yet. I'm imagine you know what? Was. Yeah, I, I actually mistakenly spoke. I, we, well, we hadn't spoken yet, but he had texted me. I just hadn't got through my messages yet. So um, I said he hadn't reached. I don't or I don't know what I said. But, uh, 
he had reached out to me. It was my fault. So I hadn't seen all my messages yet. You know, it's so busy um, that time of the year. But um, you've spoken to him since yeah, then. Yeah, for sure. You've spoken to other receivers since you've been yeah, here. So, what's yeah. What's your sense of everything? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, I mean, it's a great environment. It's a it's a good place to to um, you know be a young player at and and um, you know chase your dream. And I'm just really excited to you know get with the get with the. Um, the rest of the guys. So, you know, I've met some dudes just even walking throughout the facility. Um, you know, everyone says what's up, and um, you can tell that they're just, you know, hungry. And, um, you know, I'm excited to be here. Have you started sure. picking brains? Like, if you see Corey Davis, have you started asking him questions, or is that, yeah. you know, about come later or something? Yeah, so, and, you know, I haven't, I haven't, um, you know, seen, seen, I would say, vets as that, you know, Corey Davis or, um, Players like that. I haven't seen you know vets that I could really pick their brain, but when that when I do see them, you know, I for sure will. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, we've seen receivers in the last couple of years come in and have a pretty immediate impact with Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, guys like that. Do you think you can have that kind of impact this year? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm very confident. I think I you know can have that the impact. So you know, I want to do everything it takes to um, to you know have an impact. Did you make sure you, you hit Zach back pretty quick to make sure you don't get sure. targets or anything like that? Yeah, no, actually, right after I got out the meeting, I was like, you know, let me go check my phone and make sure I'm not uh, missing anything. And sure enough, I had, you know, missed something. So um, I made sure I shot him a text right after. And, uh, you know, we've been texting a few days, you know, since then, so a few times since then. So, um, yeah, I mean, you got to be on the, the same page as your quarterback. You know, I can't have that um, up in the air for sure. After having the ch- chance to talk with Mike and – and see Robert, you know, work these practices. Just what are your initial impressions of them, and, and how do you think you're going to fit into this offense? Yeah, um, you know, really just do whatever um, they want me to do. Do whatever it takes. You know, um, I'm a young guy coming in, and you know, I got to earn the trust of, of my teammates and and my coaches. And you know, I'm willing to do that. And um, you know, whatever they whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do. So, um, I'm, like I said, I'm confident in my ability, and you know, I'm, I want to do it at a high level, whatever my job is. And um, right now, you know, that's that's what I'm focused on. So um, I feel like I'll, I'll fit in well for sure. Garrett, have you gotten a lot of feedback on from the uh, the video uh, that your dad left? Oh, I mean, yeah. I, I think I've retweeted it two or three times myself. Yeah. So, it, you know, it was a very cool message yeah, that he left. Um, just, you know, if you could just tell us what that meant to you. And yeah. Um, I mean, that, that was awesome. You know, it was it's after a long night. Um, you kind of settle down and get to they, the last thing you do is they show you this video and um, you know it kind of just settled me down um, took all the pressure off and it, it just meant so much so much to me you know that's my role model that's you know someone that, that means so much to me and um, yeah I mean I, I got really emotional watching it and then seeing it again on Twitter and um, you know the reaction that people are having you know he's an awesome dad and uh, it's cool that you know people are seeing that so I've always known that though for sure did you know he was doing that or was that no I had I had no clue so it was, it was a surprise they kind of just um, at the end of the night they're like put these headphones on and all of a sudden you know uh, whoever did the note for you you know pops up on the screen so it was you know awesome they did that you sure. kept it together pretty good though yeah um, <laughs> yeah I don't know. I, I mean, you know, that's the pops. You know, I've seen him all the time, and it was a big night. But um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, thank you.